Welcome to day two of my personal democracy forum vlog, I guess is what we can call this for lack of a better term. I hate the term vlog, but we'll go with it for now. I am, in all honesty, playing hooky from the second half of the conference. I really like the conference a lot, but I left at noon to do Buzz Out Loud and then I decided not to go back because it's so beautiful outside and I want to go for a run in Central Park. So I'm going to share my thoughts on the first half of the day, if that's okay. Um, and you'll forgive me for playing hooky the second half of the day. The conversation this morning had a lot to do with openness and transparency in policy. There were plenty of GOP strategists who talked about how they did not succeed in 2008 because they failed to share their strategy with the public in the same way that the Obama campaign did. And I think that that's really interesting to note. Alec Ross from the U.S. State Department said that information is what we need to leverage now through communication technology because that's what transfers the power to citizenry away from just those who are ruling into everyone and really that's what the purpose of democracy is. I thought about how we can use that in journalism and more specifically technology journalism because I feel like even though we sing the praises of open source, we don't really open information as much as we could. It's always, here's this product, but don't tell anyone. And here's this other technology, but please, this is under embargo, so you can't say anything. And I'm not sure that that's the best way to go about things anymore. Maybe it would be better to incite conversation with your competitors, even, and talk out what you're planning to do, because m maybe we're all only as good as our industry as a whole, or maybe that's slightly utopic. I don't know, but um, definitely the power of leveraging community is showing itself more and more every single day. So as I think about how we could apply that to a broadcast, I think it's useful to talk about it, not just with people within CBS, but at other networks as well. So we can talk about um, leveraging the infrastructure of old media to forge ahead with new media. Um, and it's really an exciting time because we have the opportunity to reshape, reshape an entire medium like we never have before. So that is really exciting to me. Um, it keeps me up at night, to be honest. And um, I'm going to be launching some new projects through CBS, of course, and I will keep you informed on them. And I will continue to crowdsource them because um, it's no good if I'm doing these great broadcasts that no one reads, watches, or listens to. So um, I'll keep you up on that. I'm not going to do my CBS News webcast tonight because, um, not because I'm playing hooky, but because we had a scheduling conflict with the studio. But we'll do it again later this week, and hopefully you can ring in on what you think of that. So uh, thanks for listening to my brain dump. Hopefully it incited some thoughts in your own mind. Maybe you should let those thoughts marinate while you play hooky from the second half of your day. Maybe you should just Go home, go buy yourself a big glass of iced tea, and um, think macro, and think about the evolution of new media, and you get back to me on that. So tell your boss that I gave you permission to go home, and uh, get the heck out of the office. Have a good Tuesday, and I'll see you tomorrow on the internet, and I'll keep doing these brain dumps every now and again if I have something to say. Who knows when inspiration strikes, so I'll see you on the internet. Bye.